Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for stopping back by the channel. I'm Solo Black, your host. Solo Black 313, that is your host. <laughs> so, if this is your first time to my channel, I do motorcycle related content. All right, let's get started. So, it's Saturday, November the 11th. It's about, oh, 48 degrees here in Detroit on this lovely, lovely, lovely sunny day. It's beautiful out here today. Uh, so, I'm on my way to the market to pick up some, some milk and some cat toys. <laughs> yeah, I got a new cat yesterday, a little kitten. Um, just wandering the street and uh, I was eating some uh, I was eating a sausage and he came up to me so I gave him a couple of pieces of sausage and uh, now I have a little kitten so now I got to uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go I gotta go to the uh, to the cat store well to the pet store and get some cat food I forgot this was a dead end man dang let me see how that slow slow maneuvers go go okay we turn in turn in turn in oh looking pretty freaking good no foot's down yet oh perfect perfect slow speed maneuver turn oh my gosh ah, I forgot this tree had a dead end but anyway all right so let's get back to it uh, yesterday I was on Facebook market and I saw a VFR a 2000 and uh, the guy wants a thousand dollars I called him, um, he's supposed to call me back um, tomorrow, which will be November the 12th, 2023. Uh, in his ad, he says the bike uh, needs new forks, and of course, as you can see in the pictures, the bike needs fairings on it. Now, um, I've always wanted a VFR, as you guys know, I talk about it all the time. Um, I'm still working on Project 2000 Katana 750 and uh, I'm wondering should I go ahead and pick up this VFR uh, like I said he only wants a thousand dollars of course when you get there uh, of course when I get there you know I'm gonna see uh, get your butt out the way I just got a cat of course I'm gonna see if I can get it for less than a thousand but I think that might happen tomorrow um, He's out in Ecorse, Michigan. That's about a 45 minute drive from Detroit, Michigan. Um, so I'm gonna go out there and take a look at it and uh, see, is it, see is it worth my while and then I'll have another project bike. Okay, now I got some bad news for you and for me, mainly for me. <laughs> As you know, in part three, I went to the garage one morning to start work on the bike. And uh, when I opened the garage door, the katana had fell over overnight due to a leaking jack that I had the bike sitting on. I'm going to try to get a close-up picture of that jack. Now, I did inspect the bike. You know, I, I inspected, and as I told you, uh, the only damage I could see was the um, left turn signal light had been broken. But apparently that wasn't the only problem that I had. Uh, unbeknownst to me um, when I put the neutral safety switch on um, I saw a little hairline crack on the um, crankshaft crankcase sprocket cover you know but I just thought that was just like a little crack I, it's it like, it like a piece of hair but apparently it was a crack okay so after the video I did in video 4 um, and I put the uh, neutral safety switch on um, and that was all about because the the bike wouldn't start in neutral and I didn't get a neutral uh, light and but once I put that switch on I got the neutral light and um, life was good again so after I finished the video I said well look let me take the bike out for a little ride you know see what's going on I got the bike started and I attempted to put it in gear, but my foot went all the way down like that. Wow! I'm like, what the heck? I thought I had missed the uh, 
the gear shift leveler but what it was is the aluminum casing it broke I mean it just it broke so it was more than a hairline crack that I saw the casing actually broke okay so I had to go on Amazon I'm not Amazon I went on eBay and I found a um, crank share uh, crank case sprocket cover for $75 okay cool I have been pricing them. of course you know I went to the big box people and uh, for a new crankcase sprocket cover for that uh, katana the cheapest one I saw at that time was $189 uh, new OEM so I, I continued to check uh, eBay and I found one that I bought for $75 now I told you guys I don't shop on eBay very much and I've never bought anything uh, used on eBay so I go ahead and I I clicked on the one for $75 and then I went to check out and I wasn't paying attention so children pay attention when I was after I had checked out and they uh, confirmed my order it was a hundred and fifty four dollars I'm like wow why is that uh what happened so I went back I thought I did something wrong okay the part came from Italy and they charged me 75 basically 75 more dollars to ship that $75 crankcase sprocket cover from Italy Wow so I got it yesterday um, it is what it is I'll be more careful next time I make a purchase like that off of eBay uh, before I hit the order button and um, you know that that's that's my fault um, I don't know if I could have found one cheaper than that but you know, I paid hundred and fifty four dollars I could have had went have bought a brand new one OEM um, from Partzilla you know for hundred eighty nine dollars plus the shipping probably would have put it around you know 190 bucks but it would have been new as opposed to hundred and seventy five dollars for a, a used one now the only thing about this particular sprocket cover it does come with a speed sensor and it does come with the uh, with the uh, clutch cable but I don't need a clutch cable 